The Israeli army has failed to fulfill Netanyahu's goal of destroying Hamas. Despite all efforts during the special operation in the Gaza Strip, Israel was able to eliminate no more than 30 to 35 percent of Hamas militants. And the situation is the same with underground traffic tunnels. Approximately two-thirds of the passages remain intact. Politico writes about this. The Israel Defense Forces failed to complete the task set by Prime Minister of the Jewish State, Benjamin Netanyahu, to destroy the Hamas movement. Moreover, according to American intelligence, the movement not only compensated for the losses among militants suffered during the Israeli operation, but also managed to recruit new ones. To date, Hamas losses are estimated at no more than 30% of the total number and the underground tunnels continue to function. According to senior American officials, Israel's strategy in the Gaza Strip does not lead to final victory. Tel Aviv is catastrophically missing the opportunity to destroy Hamas. Against this background, well-founded fears arise that Israel in Palestine will repeat the US mistake in Iraq where an entire anti-American insurgency has grown out of ordinary resistance. They are echoed by the Biden administration which believes that after the Israeli army withdraws from the Gaza Strip there will be a vacuum that will quickly be filled by another terrorist group that has set itself the task of destroying the Jewish state. The possible withdrawal of Israeli troops could leave a vacuum that will likely be filled by chaos, anarchy and ultimately Hamas again, Blinken said. Nevertheless, Israel does not intend to listen to the advice of the Americans, preferring to act according to its own plan. However, this does not prevent the Israelis from receiving assistance from the United States. Strong fire broke out at an office building belonging to Danish pharmaceutical company Novo Nordisk on Wednesday. A team of 100 firefighters were involved in extinguishing the massive fire almost three hours after it started. The fire started in a container at a Novo Nordisk construction site and spread to the roof of an adjacent office building also belonging to the company in Bagsverd, north of Copenhagen, Fire Brigade Chief of Operations Martin Smith told AFP. According to local media reports, large plumes of grey smoke could be seen from miles away from the site of the incident. The company said in a statement that the smoke was not toxic, thus there are no injuries. Police advised Copenhagen residents to go indoors and close doors and windows if you are in a smoky area, in a post on X, formerly known as Twitter. This is the second fire at a Novo Nordisk site in past two weeks. Last week, Fire occurred in Kalenborg, another Novo Nordisk site under construction. The fire had no impact on the company's drugs production. It should be noted that Novo Nordisk is the maker of the weight loss drugs Ozempic and Wegovy.